Kevin Harris, running back, South Carolina, five foot ten, two hundred twenty one pounds. 40-yard dash did not run it at the combine. But he did it. I was going to say, damn, I didn't see it. All right. he, he, and then he tried to run it at his pro day, and he pulled up like at uh, 30 yards. He strained his hamstring. Uh, <laughs> but his vertical, very good. 30 and a half inch vertical. <laughs> the reaction. 126 inch broad jumps are pretty good. Yeah, those are good and, numbers, man. And this guy. Especially I mean, 221 pounds. Yeah, yeah, he's a big boy. Yeah. So we watched. So well, obviously we're talking about Kevin Harris here, and then we're going to talk about Quan. Uh, it's a Quandre White. It's a Quandre White next. Both plays. Go, both played at South Carolina. Right. And it wasn't until I got done watching the Quandre that had to go back and put this note, even with Ken, Kevin Harris. Man, that offensive line was doo doo. <laughs> I mean, I saw that center like hike balls past the quarterback. Oh. Dude, their quarterback was a graduate assistant that just stepped in to play quarterback for him last wow. year. Wow. Yeah. Oh, really? So basically yeah. basically yeah. you uh, yes. <laughs> playing quarterback. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Dude, awesome. that off, and like, he actually didn't do too bad for that. But <laughs> anyway, for how much, uh, Dude, for how good. much pressure yeah, he, he was under good. and how many bad snaps he got, like yeah. I'm surprised he did anything at all because that offensive – I'm just watching him like – at one point in a stop, I'm like, come this I'm like when I'm watching tape, I'm just focused on you know these sure. players, Kevin Harris and White. And I'm like, halfway through watching White's film, I go, wait a minute. How many times has this poor quarterback been like under distress for his life? And I'm like, balls going over his head. Spencer Rattler's a quarterback next year. So I started watching a little bit more. I stopped watching and I started watching the O line a little bit. I'm like, wow, these guys are terrible. So Lots of drop snaps and stuff like that. I mean, it was bad. Bad over over their head, under their feet. Oh yeah, also, like, all over. Dead ball. He just yep. fought the graduate assistants lay on the ground, curled up. <laughs> Please don't kill me. Um, but going back to Kevin I'm here Harris. for scholarship. <laughs> so this was a guy. If you. If, <laughs> If you want to watch him, it's, it's it's not really fair to watch his 21 tape. You really want to go back and watch his 2020 tape because he was limited some last year because he suffered a back injury at the end of 2020. He had actually had to get back surgery. But if you go back to 2020, he was second in the SEC with 1,130 rushing yards and 15 touchdowns on 185 carries. So last year, he had 152 carries, 660 yards. For four touchdowns, 4.4 yards per carry, 11 catches for 89 because he was split in time with Saquandre White. Big power running back who uses his sides to create and punish. So he was able to break a ton of those high tackles. Good good, good enough vision I had. Mm-hmm. Really solid contact balance and only one career fumble. So he's very solid with the football. Some of the stuff I didn't like from what I saw was he didn't look like a natural pass catcher whatsoever. Had eight drops on 49 targets. And this, to me, almost murders his dynasty value because it, it's just, if you don't have that PPR volume, you're limited to begin with. So unless you're right. an elite talent, it's going to be hard to actually give me the production I need to help me get where I need to be, which is a dynasty fantasy football championship. So he's in the volume and most importantly, touchdowns at the next level. Um, not, he wasn't really excited on his outside runs. I didn't get overly excited about. Uh, he's almost exclusively a north-south runner. Looked pretty poor in pass protection, too, for a guy his size. He's not very elusive. I so he kind of looked uninterested in pass protection. Like, he just didn't want to stick his head in there. You know what I mean? Like, it just... Maybe because is it maybe it, some of those the back in the maybe back because you had six guys coming at him at the same time. It like, could also yeah. 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 It, it was it was surprising me for somebody that was so physical. Yeah, that's to what I'm be saying. So poor at away pass so, protection. It, it's like that point in Game of Thrones where uh, where, uh, what's his face? He pulls out the sword and they're all charging at him. <laughs> it's like ah, oh, this is gonna be good, right? Uh, so what, what I'm really interested to hear is because I have no when, idea what you're talking about. Oh, when uh, what, wait, Rob uh, Stark was it? Rob was it Stark? When it, when John Snow. John Snow. We had to Snow. go go get Ariel, and they had it, and like or whatever, or no, his uh, brother Bram. Or not Bram. Okay. okay. And then okay. they pulled the sword, and the ba- they battle, yeah. and all surrounded. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Now I know what you're talking about. I was like, there's so many scenes where people pull swords. I don't know. Next week on Game of Thrones. <laughs> um, <laughs> Game so, of Thrones podcasting. <laughs> so what Next I'm interested week. in is like, overall, I came away as a dynasty prospect, not overly enthused, but this is a guy that you, Jer- Garrett, and Jared said that you guys like. Uh, we'll get to Matt next. Uh, <laughs> but tell me what you like, because I just didn't see it. Like, I didn't see, uh, some, as a dynasty prospect, I came away liking the 2020 film, 2021. I, I'll give him some leeway because of the back surgery. Sure. But even some of the 2020 film, it's like from a dynasty NFL standpoint, for those peop, those points, I didn't love what I saw. But you like them. Yeah, I do. And I'm not quite as worried about the receiving as you are because they did still use him in that capacity. And I think some of those drops were more concentration drops than it looked like 
he was like fighting the football. You're, you're I say. was reading reports from the pro day, and they said that he was like catching the ball extremely well, and that was like his his like best part of his pro day. Okay, yeah, so. that that makes sense to me because it, it didn't look unnatural for him. It just looked like sometimes he was overthinking it and like moving on to like yeah. trying to truck somebody. Um, so I think that was part of it. So I'm not too concerned there. The reason I liked him is. For somebody of his size, and he has some of the better contact balance and physicality in this class for me as far as the the ratings go, he had very quick feet. He was very nimble, very choppy, uh, very good at at changing directions pretty quickly for a bigger back. And he kind of reminded me, and I don't think he's going to have a good... Javante? AJ Dillon? Not quite. Did he remind me of Javante a little bit? You did say that. You said he reminded you a little bit of Javante. I saw a little bit of uh, Jamal Lewis is what I saw when I was watching him play. That big upper body that... You don't don't grab him up high because it's not it's just not going to happen for I you. I can see that. Now uh, that you say that, I could I could see that. Yeah. So he's not quite as big as Jamal was. I think Jamal was a little bit bigger than he was. Jamal was, was so it? much faster than this guy. Give me a break. I, I, think I, met, I slow. met Jamal I Lewis one time. Slow. I don't think Harris it's is that slow. Massive. I don't. I, I thought that was the the big kind of question mark on him was his long speed. I think he's bursty I, in in small. I, I don't spaces. have great. Ga- I I have him like uh, just a hair above average for game speed. So yeah. it was. Pretty average at that. That Jamal Lewis though was was fast. he faster than that? Yeah. Okay. Maybe, maybe I misremember that part of his game because I was I was a little bit younger. That when dude can break that. some runs, man. He could he could dust people. He okay. was fast. And he was faster than Kevin Harris for Ooh. sure. Jamal Lewis. Oh yeah. yeah, Jamal Lewis. Yeah, you don't get two thousand yards on pure just big well for sure boy ability. Uh, but baller. but overall, I did I did walk away. Uh, I, I want him to be a little bit more patient. Um, there, were, there were times, uh, I mean, the first six plays I was watching of one game, he ran into his offensive lineman twice. So I did have some questions about his vision. Um, but, you know, he was big enough and power enough, full, powerful enough to keep moving also. Sure. So, yeah. so it is one of those things where... Well, and, and part of this too is, you know, we, we see a lot of zone scheme. They, they weren't running zone schemes here. They were running a lot of man and a lot of gap schemes. And so I think that's where he's going to be best serves is... Because it's it, he doesn't have crazy long speed and he's not he doesn't turn the corner super well. I think he is going to be better in more of the the, the power schemes, these, these gap blocking yep. schemes. Think of like uh, Atlanta would be that way, um, Tennessee would be that way. I know we've fallen in love with the zone scheme, but I don't think that's the best case scenario for him. I New think Eng- New England, right? They, they're in a yeah. They do they do a lot of a lot of power, yep. um, a lot of duo. Um, well, so, Green Bay's been starting to do a lot of duo blocks, um, but yeah. I, I like Kevin Harris. He he's just below. Um, you know, t- he's actually tied with Ty Chandler uh, for me in this class. So I I like Ty Chandler a little bit better. It's just kind of how they scored out. Uh, but he's just below a lot of those players. I really like. And I, and I didn't watch any of the twenty twenty tapes, so I'll have to go back and watch that because mm-hmm. maybe there was a much little, better. Maybe there was a little something before the back injury that I'm missing because his, his I mean his explosion numbers there thirty eight and a half and one hundred twenty six. In the those broad, are solid those are big. Yeah, those are very solid very explosion yeah, numbers. He was second in the class in his vertical and third in his broad jump. Yeah, so I mean, I think that translates to his short area burst that I see on on tape. But um, maybe I'm missing something. His, uh, maybe you know, maybe the 2020s will show me a little something that I didn't see in 21. His like burst burst score, which is um, it's just a score that's derived from like his his broad jump and his vertical jump numbers, and then you take that with his weight sure. that he has. It's sure. it's eighty ninth percentile. So. so yeah, very very. What solid. do you feel? What do you, like? What's your feel about him? Like from a dynasty prospect. I, I mean, I think, I think, obviously, he has the size that you, mm-hmm. you you're looking for. I think he does do good in small spaces as far as lateral agility and explosion and stuff like that. But I, I do have questions about his speed and. And and obviously the pass catching, it sounds like you know from from all reports of the pro day that that looked good. That was another question mark I had. And the pass pro this past year <laughs> was was, just, it was bad. It, so uh, you know there are questions as as to his PPR value in my brain. As uh, well. So he's gonna be somebody that can help better off on like a guy like if he goes in, like to his North Carolina brethren and help out like a guy like Michael Carter uh, and just be his change. Like I mean, a, is this guy like a, a pace back there? Is he a Jordan Howard type? It sounds like no, because Jordan Howard was terrible. Like that guy sure. couldn't catch a cold. Um, it sounds like he can actually do it um, and and maybe be a little bit more involved than a Jordan Howard. So if he falls in a role where he's he's getting volume and he's getting worked on by the end zone and catching an occasional pass, he could find yeah. himself you know some sort of value as far as fantasy football. I, I do want to clear up one real quick thing, just as an overarching um, concept, because 
you know, we talk about ranking these guys and putting them in a certain order, but let's still remember that this is a weaker class overall. Right. I think that there's going to be a lot of very good running backs that are backups in this class. Like there are a lot of very good RB twos, but I don't think we're going to see a ton of these guys, you know, outside of Brees and Walker and, and Spiller. I don't know that we have any other starters there. There'll probably be one or two that emerge um, from the pack, Down but, the road, yeah. but we're talking about, you know, if there's 32 starting running backs, they're, th- they're running back 29. Right. You know what I mean? They're oh, not yeah. going to be elite level talents. Uh, now, Maybe maybe as Amir White might, but you know, but outside has, of that, he has a <laughs> I'm yeah. I'm with you there. Yeah. By the way, this class is dude, and that's, and that's why he's he's been going up and up and up and up my board just because of the ceiling. Yeah, just because I see a ceiling that's that's crazy for him. Right. Um, but so. but I but I, I just want to keep that in perspective with all of this as we as we break this down. These guys are are good. But very, very few of them are great to the point where They're, they could be a consistent starter. Most of them the are next third level. running backs on our depth chart, like that. And some of them aren't even backups. But sure. yeah, I mean, this running back class is a South Carolina offensive line. You know what I mean? Like that's that's where they're at. It's just not very good. It's not a very good class. So, you know, Brees Hall is a, a high level player, and then Kenneth Walker, some who I love, that gives that running back one potential. But same thing, if you if you throw him in a mix of what's in the NFL now. Where, where does he fall into the line? Like, do I Miles want Kenneth Walker or J.K. Dobbins? So, so perfect example, Kevin Harris um, or or Moss from uh, the Bills. Like, who would who coming out of college? Who do you think was better? Oh, uh, I, thought, I thought Zach Moss was better coming I, out. I thought Zach Moss was better coming out. Also. I have a hair sl- slight. I could go back and look. I'm pretty sure I had Moss at a 70 and this guy's at a 71. So I think I have him slightly better, but. Very similar perspective. Plane. You know yes. what I mean? Like there's a lot of Zach Mosses in this. Garrett, class. you had Zach right. Moss at a 67, and then oh, I hated Zach Moss. <laughs> Kevin Harris is 71, which okay. is which is what I have, and 